before that, next week marks 60 years since James Bond made his thrilling debut on the silver screen. Well, to celebrate the special anniversary, Christie's Auction House is giving fans the chance to take home a unique piece of 007 history, although you've got to be seriously doshed up. <laughs> yes, you do. As they put some of the film's most iconic props up for sale, Adrian hume -Sair is here with a sneak peek of what's on to offer. So, firstly, um, where has all this stuff been uh, stored? Whose is it? Why are they selling it? So, well, I'll start with the why first. And the why is to raise as much money as possible for charity. There's over 45 charities benefiting from the two auctions that are running alongside. We've got a live sale on Wednesday, yep. an online sale that's running alongside and runs till James Bond Day on the 5th of October. How brilliant. So very good. And the items, it's all been organised by Eon Productions, the producers of the Bond films. Most of the items have come from their amazing archive. Mm. Um, and they have done this to celebrate the 60 years of James Bond on screen, but as I say, really, to raise Make as much, as money, much money as possible, because they are very expensive, but it's going to a good place. Well, they're not all very expensive. We have lots starting at £100. I don't know where they'll end up, but there's something hopefully there for everyone. Okay. Yeah, and the thing is, I mean, this is not the first time you've done this. It's been done before. We've raised five million quid yeah, so far. Almost for five million so far. Yeah. We're hoping this sale will raise in excess of three million. We'll see where we land. And but... because it's come out of the Eon archive, they're all in incredible condition. Incredible condition, but also provenance is absolutely key. It's that sort of tangible connection with the mm. films, with the moment in time. Mm. And when it's come straight from the Eon archive, it's literally like it's come straight off set. So well, talk us through what we've got then in that case. So we start with the egg. So, well, the first thing, the egg, amazing. So, Octopussy 1983, Roger Moore, yeah. an auction scene, the egg. There was only two of these made for, for use in production. Oh, okay, absolutely. Two of these made for use in production, no commissioned from Asprey, um, Royal Silversmith, and they are so beautifully made. And if you remember in the film, it's... Oh. A little bit stiff, but oh there we are. Goodness. Based I mean, that on an 1890s uh, Fabergé Imperial Easter egg, um, and then it's and got so the how much part. would that be? Oh, well <gasps> done! Look at that. How much would you expect something like that to go for? Well, you see, the thing is, with this sort of sale, it's really difficult know. because mm. we you look at something for its intrinsic value, which we normally do at Christie's, but actually here it's the emotional connection, it's yeah. that tangible link, as I said mm. before. So it's hard to say. We've got six to eight thousand pounds on that, although I have to say. Even though I think that, that that one might, might make a little bit more. Uh, that's a lovely dress. It looks brand new. It's in amazing condition. So this is Barbara Back's dress from The Spy Who Loved Me. Yeah. Um, and they've had this in the archive ever since, in immaculate condition, a gorgeous Oh, thing. my God, what a dress. What a Absolutely. Welcome to the that's stunning. It's just nice. See, but that's the thing, isn't it? You, can, you see it in the movie and then you go, God, there it is. That's the one. Absolutely, absolutely. So it's that, it's that direct, it that really direct is. link. And so the price, that's, I mean, again, oh, so that's, go five, that's five to eight thousand. Five to eight thousand. Okay. Um, and again, as with all of it, who knows what will happen on the day? Mm. Yeah. But and the uh, and the Aston, <laughs> the Aston Martin. Yeah. No, it's an amazing thing. So this is from the latest film, No Time to Die, but it's a nod to the Aston Martin driven by Timothy Dalton in Living Daylights. Uh -huh. so it's not the same car, but it's made to look like the same car for continuation. Mm. Okay. And this is the one that Daniel Craig pulls the dust sheet off and drives out in. In No Time to Die. That was this car. That, in No Time to Die, that was this car. It, this well, actual, was, well, actual, there are, actual. What I should say, with all film props, there's always more than one made mm. for the film. Got it. This is one of three that was used in production. Uh -huh. Like, the egg was one of two. The other egg there, for example, stays in the in the Eon archive and will never come up for sale. Yeah. Um, but this, this is one of three, but this is the one that's been released for sale. Mm. But the great thing is, so we've got seven vehicles in the sale... This is just one of them. We've got five stunt cars and two road cars, sort of, that weren't in the film, but are, that are um, limited editions based on the film cars. Oh. That have already, and the limited editions have already sold out, so this is your only chance to get any of those. Oh, right. But this is the one car that bridges that gap, so it is a road car and it was in the film. It's got an MOT, so you can literally it's a bit buy it and drive it, which is pretty amazing. How much? So this one is one of the more expensive lots in the sale. This is, this is um, uh, five to eight hundred thousand pounds. Woo! So, yeah. <laughs> All for charity. All, All for, for charity. charity. And this one's for UNHCR. Um, and actually, the egg, one of the really interesting things, the live sale on Wednesday, it's mostly about nine, no time to die, but the last six lots of the sale are celebrating each of the six actors who played James Bond over the six decades. Mm -hmm. So there's one lot representing each of those actors. The Fabergé egg represents Roger, Sir Roger Moore. Yeah. And it's being sold for his charity, UNICEF. Uh, that's so, lovely. That's yeah. a personal yeah. connection and then there as well. And so many other charities, as I said, um, Land Rover would come to me. It's been yeah. sold for the Red Cross, for example. OK. <laughs> Next oh, one. So now we've got um, Lashana Lynch's tactical costume from No Time to Die. 
Um, this whole group of objects here are from No Time to Die. Um, so we've got Sean Lynch's tactical costume there. That's 10 to 15,000. Mm -hmm. Very clean. It's, it's immaculate, but again, there would be different ones for different stages of production. And so some would be damaged, some would have staining on just for continuity, uh -huh. but they've given us the clean ones to sell. So. <laughs> uh, but they were all used for, they're all used in production. And then here we've got Daniel Craig's um, No Time to Die, um, Amiga's uh, Seamaster Diver Watch. Very popular lot, yeah, I imagine that, that one. That one's 15 to 20,000, but it's, he wears two models of watch in the film, and that's one of the ones that was on set. Uh -huh. I think that's one of five of that particular model. And it comes with this amazing bespoke case. And then we've got the Daniel Craig um, tactical costume there. Now, again, it's one of a number used in filming at, for different stages. That's a stage one costume, and later stages would be more damaged yeah. and more... Yeah, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. So let's but, go on to the big uh, defender then. Well, uh, oh, one sorry, tiny on. thing about that I just wanted to say was it's the last outfit Daniel Craig... It's a version of the last outfit Daniel Craig ever wears on screen as Bond. That's the outfit that he's wearing, or a version of the outfit that he's wearing when he dies at the end of No Time to Die. I mean, the film's been out a long time, if you don't know by now. <laughs> I mean, I know you should say spoiler alert, like, but oh, like, oh, we, we both say... went... Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> it has been out a long time, yeah. No, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry. <laughs> Moving swiftly on, the Defender there. Now, you the might defender. think this is covered in mud, but it's not. It's not covered in mud, so this is prop mud painted on for continuity mm -hmm. again. One of a number used in the film. So this is a stunt car, not a road car. But what's also particularly interesting about this um, is that it, is, it was a pre-production Land Rover Defender when they just started making this new model. Mm -hmm. And it's number 007 off the production line. That's so yeah. cool! That in itself is that incredible. That in itself yeah. is amazing. It's a, is, this, is this actually roadworthy? Because I had a look in earlier on, it's got no. a massive, great big hydraulic, you know, hydraulic handbrake. Hydraulic handbrake. No, this is, this, is not ro this is not road legal. This is a stunt car, but it's based on the production model. So mm. you could probably... Can't guarantee, but you could probably get it made into a road car if you wanted. If you wanted to. Uh, yeah. Very Apple quickly, board. let's oh, yeah. just That's go nice, through the other final one. ones Absolutely. here. So the, the sale has lot. We've shown you some of the highlights, but the sale, as we say, it has 60... Well, it had 60, now it has 61 lots. Another lot added yesterday. Uh. Two more charities benefiting. But, yes, this, the wider sale has lots more things as well. So here are a couple of lots from Skyfall. This is Daniel Craig's suit from the motorbike scene in Skyfall. And you can see this has some damage on it from continuity from that stage of the of filming. And here is a... Skyfall clapperboard signed by cast and crew. How brilliant. So just remind us when the sale is on, because uh, and we'll also say, as you pointed out quite rightly, these are very expensive items, but there are things for fans are, that are a lot There cheaper. are much more, much more affordable things. Yeah. Um, so the sale's on, the live sale is on Wednesday night, but it's also going to be live streamed. You can watch on Chris's website on the internet. You can watch the whole thing unfolding. So the first 25 lots on Wednesday night, and then the online sale, which is now 36 slots with the extra guitar that's been added, that's going to run till the 5th of October online, so have a look at it. Well, the best of luck with all that money Thank for charity you, yeah. as well. Fingers yeah. crossed. Thank Make you so much. Money. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.